Hey, everybody, praise the Lord. How to know when the devil is lying. This is a message that the Lord just suddenly gave me, and the Lord's leading me to preach it today. And even though I done preached another message a lot the other day, God's doing it again. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. I'm going to get into the discussion with you. Revelation 12 and 10. And I heard a voice saying, In heaven now it is come the salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren has been cast down, which has accused them before God both day and night. Bless the reading of this word, Father God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. What is it? How do you know when the devil is lying? That's a very easy answer when his mouth is moving. He is very able to accuse. He's very quick to accuse the brethren day and night before the Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. But the Bible says, I believe it's in 1 John, that if we sin, if we do fall short, we have an advocate with the Father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. I do thank you, Lord. You are welcome in this place. Listen to me, friend. We have someone fighting for us who's daily making intercession for us before the throne of Almighty God. That's why we can come boldly before the throne of grace, making our petition known, believing that he will answer it. Praise the Lord, because the judge has already declared that our case with him is clear, and the case that the enemy brings before him gets thrown out every time. Listen to me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Are you listening to me, friend? I love you, Lord. I do. Thank you for this message. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I wasn't expecting to preach it. I do love you, Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Are you listening to me right now? God wants to tell you whatever the devil's been telling him has already been ignored. But God has cast your sin into the sea of forgetfulness. Those of you who have repented, God has cast your sin into the sea of forgetfulness. And he remembers it no more forever against you. He's stricken it from the record book. You're in good with the judge of glory. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Don't be condemned by the devil and his lies. For the devil is the father of all liars. Why would you listen to the devil? That's what God's, God's ignoring the devil. Every time he says anything against you, the Lord Jesus is saying, Father, I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood of Jesus. He's pleading his own blood for us. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's why we got power in the blood of Jesus to come against the works of the devil. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There's power in the blood. Power, power. I love you, Holy Ghost. Wonder work in power. Hallelujah. I do love you, Lord. In the precious blood of the Lamb. My God, don't you know that when we come before God, the devil's got to flee because if we submit ourselves to God, resist the devil and he will flee. Throw yourself on the mercy of God today. Throw yourself on the grace of God and don't go back to the old lifestyle. Don't let the devil lie to you and say you're not forgiven. Don't let the devil lie to you and say you've sinned away your day of grace. I believe that you can if you're not careful. But if you are literally trying to live for Jesus and if you do stumble, you've got an advocate with God. Don't stumble just for the sake of stumbling to be forgiven. Because the Bible says, should we sin that grace may abound? God forbid it, Genesis 6, 1 through 3. My God, don't you know it's dangerous to sin just for the, for the sake of sinning? My God, don't do willful sinning, but you're trampling the blood of Jesus. I believe that's Hebrews 10 and 12, I believe that is. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Don't sin for the sake of sinning. Repent of your sins, turn from your wicked ways, and follow the Lord Jesus Christ. For all have, that's past tense, sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But through Jesus Christ, we're going to measure up on that day when we stand before the Bema, the judgment seat of Christ, and not the judgment of God, the Father. We're going to be judged by God the Son and God the Holy Ghost, not God the Father. Those who are judged by God the Father are those who are damned to hell. Because the Bible says that the great white throne of judgment, those whose name was not written in the Lamb's book of life were cast in the lake of fire, but it said whose face heaven and earth fled from. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The saints will not be at the day of judgment when Satan bows his knee before God and says, God, you are Lord to the glory of Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Even the devil himself is going to have to bow his knee 
The devil's been defeated. He knows it. So why are you worried about a demon that's been defeated? The devil is defeated by the blood of Jesus. And the Bible said one day they're going to look and say, is this the man who made the nations tremble? Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. We got more power than the devil. We got Jesus who's greater than the enemy. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. He's made us more than conquerors. Hallelujah. He's made you an overcomer. Thank you, Holy Ghost. So come on over. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. I do thank you for this message, Father God. Somebody needed to hear it today. I'm telling you, if you will just trust God. That... Thank you, Jesus. If you'll just trust the Lord God. I forgot to turn the phone off. Thank you, Holy Ghost. If you'll trust God, the case will be dismissed in Jesus' name right now. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I'm telling you. Just trust the Lord, and it'll be all right. God will throw the case out. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, trust the Lord, and you shall be delivered. In Jesus' name, amen.